בדיופי מישנה, פרשת פנחס. אז פרשת פנחס, most of the year comes after שבעה עשרה בתום. The Torah tells us last week parashah the president of Shevet Shimon, Shlumiel ben Tzuri Shaddai. The Torah calls him this week's parashah Zimde ben Salu. He is Shaul ben Akna'anit, and the son of Dina. And Mary was married to Shimon. Shimon married his sister Dina. That marriage came a guy's name of Shaul. And that guy, Shaul, eventually became the president of the tribe. And last week, Parasha, he brought a non-Jewish girl to Moshe. Her name was Cosby. It's not a real name. It was a nickname. He says, he says to Moshe, I'd like to marry the non-Jewish girl. And if you tell me I'm not allowed to, who did let you marry your wife. And Torah says that the guy embarrassed Moshe. Moshe did not know what to answer. He said, Shema Israel. And Pinchas arrived and told Moshe, you taught us. That if somebody does such a thing, going to get married to a boy without conversion, Kanaim Pogimbo. Holy people should go and kill him with no bedin. That guy is going in public now to marry a goy? So Sigma said, Moshe told Pinchas, you go. You reminded me this halacha, I forgot this halacha, Moshe said. He says to Pinchas went, he took a sword and he killed him. He killed him, he killed the girl. Says the Gemara, when Am Yisrael saw it, they wanted to kill Pinchas. He says, who are you to become a rabbi here? Says the Gemara, what is the problem exactly? First of all, it was the president of the tribe of Shimon. And then they said, look, look, this guy Pinchas is a grandson of Itro. Itro used to be a priest. Since when is this guy so religious? Who gave him the right to kill somebody? So what if this guy married a non-Jewish girl? As well, says the Gemara, some of them said, this guy, Pinchas, is as well. On the other side, the Gemara says, the grandson of Yosef. Yet Yosef had this kind of a test with a lady. So, this grandson goes and he brings a sword. The Gemara said the sword was like inside a stick. Like he was leaning on a stick, like an umbrella. And then he got into the room, he took out the sword and he killed him. The Gemara said, I'm Israel, some of them said, who is this guy? Grandson of somebody did over the Zara Yitro. Who is this guy? The grandson of Yosef? Forget about it. Says the Torah, this is parasha stands by the bear Hashem and Moshe and Mo Pinchas ben Elazar ben Aaron and Cohen. And she with Hamatim of Bnei Israel. Torah tells us last week was was a pandemic. People died, at least twenty four thousand people, at least. And when Pinchas killed the guy, the pandemic stopped. Says the Torah, Hashem told Moshe, he should, no, Pinchas, the son of Elazar, the grandson of Aaron Akoren, because of him, my anger stopped. The bad angel. It's called Chema, a sirit chamatim of Israel. That Pinchas took away my anger. Ben nokmo et nikmati betocham, he took my revenge.
Pinchas is the one that because of him we are here now. That's what Hashem told Moshe, go to Rabbi Israel. Hashem said, I was about to kill all of Israel. Pitchas stopped the epidemic. Because of Pitchas, we are here. So, what did he do? He killed somebody that did the sin. Okay, so for this, Hashem said, My anger, calm down. He took my revenge. Okay. It's a big thing. They had the courage to do it. The Chachamim said he had 12 miracles happen to him at the day that he did it. 12 miracles. Hashem made him 12 miracles for him. But the question is, what did he do? So what? He put a man hot blood. He saw the guy doing the scene, he killed him. So? All of Israel did not. So, Hashem almost wiped all of us out, and because this guy killed us, Hashem said this. This is very, very strange. Even we would have done it, we should do Teshuvah, okay. We would have done something big, only killed the guy, didn't do anything. And on top of it, I'm Israel making a joke out of it. They want to kill him, say, you are the grandson of Hitler. What business you have to go kill people? What's wrong with you? Nevertheless, Hashem tells Moshe, go tell them Israel. Go tell them. This guy, I'm going to say hello to him, but with a treaty. What does it mean? Shalom, hello, is for him forever. Since he did it, it says the Torah, Hashem is going to make him a Kohen. He wasn't a Kohen till today. Even though the Gemara said he was a son of Elazar Kohen, Kohen Agadol, grandson of Aaron Kohen. Excuse me. Hashem said, no, he's not a Kohen. He was born before. Hashem made a want to be a Kohen. He's not a Kohen, he's a Levi. Okay? Since he killed this guy, he's going to be a Kohen. Why a Kohen? Why should he be a Kohen? Hashem wants to reward him. Hashem is going to reward him. Hashem did not want him to be a Kohen. Why is he going to be a Kohen now? So the time in New Zealand, not only that Hashem told him, Hashem told him, you are Pinchas, you're never going to die. You are going to be a Yawan Nabi. Says the Gemara that this guy, according to one opinion, Pinchas became a Yawan Nabi, he never died. This is why. Because Hashem told Moshe. Why? Because he, called, he killed this guy. So what? So what if he killed this guy? That will grant him that he become Eliyahu Navi. What Eliyahu Navi has to do with that? Eliyahu Navi is not going to kill people. Eventually he did. He killed some of the 450 Nevim. Because of Abad Azara, not because of Yulia Ayot, but this guy did. Since I've been talking about Nuziel, this guy, Pinchas, don't underestimate this guy. This is the guy that because of you, you are here. He says, why I'm in, in Queens? Pinchas. Why I'm alive? Pinchas. Everything is Pinchas. Before Mashiach will come, and Yohan Navim will come, Pinchas. I said, what did he do? The guy didn't do anything. He just killed somebody. So what? He would have killed Hitler, maybe. Okay. Because the Jewish guy did the sin. The little man of him. If you want to be like Pinchas, you won't have time for yourself today. The simulation that's going on in the world, you have no time for this. You're going to have to run after all these people. All the Kohanim in the first time of the Mikdash was war, Pinchas, Gwenshev. Tachat Asher Kinelo, Lokavai, Chapir, Abdi Yisrael, 
עודנו עומד ומכפר, זה זה תורה, זה זה גמרא, אליהו הנביא is still today. He is the one that give us the kappa. says the Ari, when you pray to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the person has to have this kavana. You pray to Hashem, it's true, Hashem in front of you. Nevertheless, the tefillah goes from our hand, says the Ari, to Marat HaMachpelah. בין קבר רחל, רחל אימנו, בין כותל, בין אפסטרס, to Hashem. It says, who delivers this to Hashem? אליהו הנביא. אליהו הנביא delivers it to the interior minister, מתק. And he brings it to our קדוש ברוך. עדיין עומד ומכפר, עומד לתפילות, ואם you pray, we have to have this כוונה. As he had prayed to Hashem, Hashem is in front of me. But, Hashem's entity, He's upstairs on Kisei HaKavod, he sits on the chair over there. And he says, who's going to be in the tefillah? You think because you say he's going to be there? No. From your hands, it goes all the way to Yerushalayim. From Yerushalayim, Eliyahu Nabi takes it upstairs and delivers it to Matat, the third minister, and he delivers it to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Eliyahu has a different name over there. He's not called Eliyahu. No. לא למדת קבלה, מה קרה לו? אברה. His name is Sandal. אתה לא זוכר? כן. עכשיו הוא יודע. יש לי פנימה פסיס אליהו הנביא. His name is Sandal. Sandal, and then pay ו' ו' לא נושא. לא נושא, לא נושא את ידה. What the scrutiny has, never died. Not only that, It's the only entity ever that became an angel and goes up and down, up and down, up and down. Moshe doesn't go up and down. No one goes up and down. Moshe is a hood he has. Goes up and down. Comes the Gemara also, it's now a custom, we do know that every Brit Milah, we have a special chair for Leon Nabi. Zeh HaKisei Shel Leon Nabi Zachur Lato. Why it comes? Every Brit Milah it comes. Why? For what? I think Amara said this in one time was a bad king and Imach Shimoa, his wife, the witch, his evil, Isabella. I wanted to kill Eliyahu Nabi and he ran away. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu, he ran and he came all the way to the desert to Har Sinai. And Hashem asked him, Eliyahu, what are you doing? So they always said, well, I'm running away, I'm Israel, don't behave. What shall I do? So Hashem said, you know, the Gemara said, why you said, you don't behave, you can go, you can go to every Brit Mila. What it has to do with Brit Mila, that in the Nabi, told the Kadosh Baruch Hu, I'm Israel, don't behave, and they want, they want to kill me. So she said, you know what, from now on, Brit Mila. What Brit Mila has to do with this? This week's parasha also, let me say, amazing. HaKadosh Baruch Hu writes all the sacrifices. And mainly, mainly Musaf. Mainly. You know, Shabbat we have Musaf, Rosh Chodesh we have Musaf, Moradim we have Musaf, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur we have Musaf. I said, what do you do with Hamidash? Parashat Pinchas. Sacrifices we know, the old, In the book of the sacrifices, called Vayikra. Sefer Vayikra, that's the book of the sacrifices. Here comes HaKadosh Baruch Hu and invites all the sacrifices of Musaf. Also a little bit about Hamid. In this parasha, parasha Pinchas. Why? What happened now? It's Hashem reveals what is the sacrifice of Musaf. What is this about? Parashat Pinchas. All the sacrifices. Again, mainly Musaf, mainly. Only one part is Koban Tamid, the one in the morning and afternoon. But all the sacrifices, Ola, Khatat, Asham, Toda, El Nazir, Pesach, the whole, everything, Sefer Vayikha. How come Hashem left it until now? It's the question, not the question, but... You know, 
Gemara has a question when somebody brings a sacrifice to the Hamikdash. So he gives it to the Kohen. The Kohen has to sprinkle the blood. Anybody can slaughter, but sprinkling the blood or put the blood on the corner, on the corners of the altar, only a Kohen can do. You see, only a Kohen can do. Ask the Gemara a question, I want to ask you. This Kohen was appointed by Kadosh Baruch He made him a Kohen, right? So when you come to Bet Hamikdash, he serves as the messenger of Hashem, or as your messenger. Actually, you bring a sacrifice to Bet Hamikdash, and you ask the Kohen, please, I want you to sprinkle the blood. So the Kohen is going to do it because you're going to nominate him to be your messenger, or he already was nominated by Kadosh Baruch you might ask this question. So what's maybe the depth of this question? You know, Rachamim tell us that the Kadosh Baruch Hu tells them Israel, listen, you do Teshuva downstairs, then I'll open up the gates for you. But you got to start from downstairs. And it's called, I want to tell you in Kabbalah, Itahuta, the Letata. From downstairs is Letata. Or, it can be a spark from upstairs first. And the Kadosh Mahu tells us, listen, you start, I'll continue. Or, says the Gemara, First you start, we come to you. It's called, where do you start? From downstairs, from upstairs. That's the Gibbara's question. When the Kohen comes, and he takes the animal, and he sprinkles the blood, and says, what is it with that? Says the Gemara, you know, the sacrifice is really what they make, they make peace between us and HaKadosh Baruch Hu. In Selichot, in less than, six, less than six weeks, we have Selichot already. I said, well, what is the Selichot be, means? What does it mean? The person ask, he asks HaKadosh Baruch Hu, please forgive me. What? Why? What do we tell Hashem? Sikha Hamim, the Gemara says, Masecha Yikavucha, Masecha Yerechakucha. You did will make you be closer to Hashem. What's called it that you're going to have peace between you and Hashem. Masecha Yerechakucha, you do something, then you're being pushed away from Hashem. When somebody does a sin, it's not the problem the sin. The problem is you're getting further away from HaKadosh Baruch He is upset at you. He has no peace with you. The ultimate goal is not to be tzaddik. Or chas shalom not to be tzaddik. En shalom la reshaim amar Hashem. And Avi says there's no hello, there's no peace to the wicked people. What do you mean no peace? It means there's no peace between him, them and Hashem. A person in his lifetime wants to have peace with Hashem. He said, the Lord comes, he said, I sin. So, because I sin, Hashem, you upset at me. If Hashem is upset at somebody, it means there's no peace between him and Hashem. There's no shalom. So the purpose of Sebichot is not just to ask Hashem for forgiveness. That's not enough. I want to come back and to restore the relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu that I have peace with him. Not that Hashem forgives somebody and then Hashem said, forget about it. I forgive you, I don't want to see you no more. You have to aim and ask HaKadosh Baruch Hu, please, I want to have good relationship with you. That's called shalom. That's Oseh Shalom Mimomah, we are Oseh Shalom Aleinu. What do you mean, Oseh Shalom Aleinu? 
עשינו שיהיה פיס בקווין אסי לקדוש ברוך הוא. זה כל יעשה שלום עלינו. That's the purpose. שבי עם קרובו, הללויה. יש דף פיס בקווין אסי לקדוש ברוך הוא. זה סין. זה בלאקג'. לבנות פיס בקווין אסי לקדוש ברוך הוא. So when you see somebody sins, that says, what is it? He made a sin. That's not the problem. The problem, if he made a sin, and he's Jewish, and all the neshamot of the Jews are connected, now Hashem is upset. The Torah tells you, Hashem is upset. It's not to tell you Hashem is upset. Hashem is not, not upset. And it means there's no so-called good relationship between Hashem and Am Yisrael. There's no peace, there's no shalom. So Torah tells us a story last week. The president of Shevet Shimon brought an un-Jewish girl in front of Moshe and said, I want to marry her. The Torah tells us Hashem became upset. Now, what the goal now, what you have to have in mind right now? It's not the sin that God commits. The result of that sin, the relationship between us and HaKadosh Baruch Hu broke. There's no shalom. We got to restore it. So that tells us the secret. Pinchas did not go and kill the guy because he did the sin. Pinchas went and killed him because this guy disturbed the peace between us and Hashem. It's a different concept. He worries about our relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It's called Kanaim Pogimbo. It says the Gemara, if you see someone, Mary Zogoy says the Zohar, that's the worst thing in the world. The worst. Being with the Goy. Worse than not keeping Shabbat, worse than eating Kasher, the worst. You know why? Because it means, says the Zohar, Brit Milah, Hashem made 13 times treaties with Am Yisrael for Brit Milah. This means it's a sign between us and HaKadosh Baruch Hu, a peaceful treat. So says, well, you go marry a boy, you stay with the boy. You know what you do? You break the treat. There's no peace between us and the Kaddish. Says the Zohar, says the Gemara, you should know that is the problem here. It's not the problem this guy, the president of Shevet Shimon, is going to marry a boy. That's not the issue. That he married, who cares? He'll die anyway. The problem is now that you cut the shalom between us and the Kaddish. And that's what Torah tells us you should know. Pinchas, when he did this act, he had this in mind to restore the relationship between us and Hashem. It's not to kill the sinner. You can think, yeah, you have to, this guy deserves death. Yes. But when you kill him, what you have in mind? Kill the sinner? Or because I killed the sinner, that is going to show that I want to restore the relationship between us and HaKadosh Baruch Therefore, the Torah paints like this. Pinchas ben Elazar ben Aaron HaKohen, Hashem tez Moshe Gotel am Yisrael. This guy Pinchas is the grandson of Aaron. You know why? Because Aaron always wanted to restore peace between people. And that's why he became Kohen Gadol. Why he became Kohen Gadol? Why not Moshe? Because he worries about the relation between us and Hashem. How do you know? Because he worries about peace. That Ohev Shalom, Odef Shalom. You worry about peace. You're going to be the Kohen Agadol between Am Israel and Akadosh Baruch. This was the job of the Kohen Agadol in Yom Kippur. 
He went inside. He asked Hakadosh Baruch Hu for kapara, not the kapara, to restore peace between us and Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Torah tells us, you know, this guy Pinchas is his grandson. So it doesn't matter. The people say, hey, Lev, this guy Pinchas is the grandson of Itro. What do you try to say? He says, where did he get this idea, Pinchas, that he wants to restore peace? His grandfather was Avodah Zarah. Oh, he's a tzaddik, I know he did a But I don't believe that this guy, Pinchas, that's what he worries about. Shem said, Pinchas ben Elazar ben Aharon HaKohen. You know? That's what he has in mind. Nothing else. Therefore, says the Torah, Hashem granted him to be a Kohen. Because this is a Kohen job. The Kohen job is not to sprinkle blood. The Kohen job is to bring us back close to HaKadosh Mahu, to restore the relationship. Comes over to Tabernu Ziel, he said, no, 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 no. <coughs> Hashem said, this guy, Pinchas, is going to be Eliyahu Hanavi. He'll never die. He'll be Kohen Gadol Pinchas, and your children will be Kohen Gdolim, and it's called Yahu Kohen Rabbah. He says, what do you mean, Yahu Kohen Gadol? What does it mean? It's the job of the Kohen. The job of the Kohen is not to work in Mekham English. The sacrifices are not to work in Mekham English. The sacrifices are not just for the forgiveness. When a person prays to a Kadosh Baruch Hu, the Maharaj says, if you love him, come call Banot, you should know, what you say now, and you only need a kapara. Why need a kapara? Because you want to do business? Because you want to get something? No. Because you want to be close to Hashem. You want to restore, restore the shalom between you and Akadosh Baruch Hu. And therefore, you need beracha, barachenu, you shaluma, refanenu. Okay. But if you're far away from Hashem, why should you give it to you? And therefore, the Torah says, Hashem told Moshe, this, this guy, this guy, this is the role model. It says in Mishnah, in Masech HaTadoyot, Machamim Amrim, Eliyahu is going to come before Mashiach. It says the Mishnah, to restore peace. Restore peace, you think, you know, Eliyahu is going to come, he's going to go to the United Nations. Says the Mishnah Shilimar in Yanochi Sholeh Latem at Elia Hanavi. If Nebu Mashima Manoa, the Shiv, the Vot Albanim, is going to bring our heart to a Kadosh Bar. Believe in Malamutam. That's called Shalom. Shalom doesn't mean peace here. Peace means nothing. Or say Shalom Obama, say Shalom Alenu, says we want to have peace with Hashem. Our problem in life, that we have difficult things in our life, is because we have no peace with Hashem. When the person does a sin, that's not the sin. It means Hashem is angry. It means Hashem is not with peace with him. And therefore, this guy Pinchas is going to be there on me, he's not going to die, and he's going to tell us Mashiach has come. Because why? Because Mashiach is the man, Shmo Be'ava. Mashiach doesn't come to help us. Mashiach is for Hashem to have peace between us and Akadosh Baruch Hu. Say the coming up and say, what are you going to do, Say the Says, I pray for Hashem forgiveness. And says, what is it? What need forgiveness for? Why? Not because I want to have a good deal next day. Not because I want to confess. I need to confess because by the confession and by asking forgiveness. I restore the peace between Hashem and Am Yisrael. That's the secret of Selichot. This is how important Selichot is. And that we learn from Pinchas is the wrong matter. That's why Moshe told Pinchas, you go do it, you go. Because you want to restore peace. And you're the grandson of Aaron Cohen. that's what he heard. Aaron Cohen is called Kodesh Kodashim. As a person that Tanakh said with the Yamim. Aaron Kodesh Kodashim, the Holy Spirit, doesn't say this about Moshe. Because Aaron's idea in his lifetime was all the time that Hashem should have peace with Amisrael. So how do you know? Because that's what his job was here. 
Whatever the job is, you know what you do. You want to be a mayor man? It means you want to be a mayor man upstairs. Whatever you do here, you do upstairs. From the job that you have here, so-called it's a reflection. What you want to do upstairs? Since you have a jewelry store here, it means you want to put jewels in Akadosh Baal. In real estate, it means you want to build better amigas for a sheep. This is the covenant that person should have. An accountant that says, I want to be an accountant in Bet Hamikdash, to be responsible for all the things in Bet Hamikdash. A lawyer, it means you want to be upstairs and be a lawyer for Amistad. That's the job. I want a Kohen. What's your job? I make peace between people. You will be designated to make peace between you and Hashem, between Hashem and Amistad. Those are the sacrifices. The sacrifices is to make peace between us and Akadosh Baal. Imara tells us when Akadosh Baal gave the Torah, the Goim heard Akadosh Baal speaking, they went to Bilam, blessed week. And they said, Wow, what is this sound? What is that boom that we hear? Hashem is going to destroy the world. Bilam said, No, 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 Hashem gives them the Torah. She knew now. Adonai Ozam Oiten. Hashem gives the Torah. It's all the Goim said. Adonai Evarech et Amor Bashanon. The Torah is only going to direct us how to have peace between us and HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Excuse me. That's the purpose of the Torah. So if somebody hates somebody, if somebody doesn't like somebody, so this is a mirror effect. <coughs> so it means you don't like him, huh? So you have no peace with him, huh? So it means there's no peace between Hashem and you also. Kol shuach hamakom nocha hemenu, ruach habriyot nocha hemenu. It says the Mishnah Pekhi Avot. Find out, you want to know if your relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu is on the positive side or negative side. Does HaKadosh Baruch Hu have peace with you? This is Mishnah Pekhi Avot. If you have peace with everybody, you have peace with Hashem. It's a mirror reflection. If you are not with everybody, people think, Afra yeah, I love everybody. Okay, it doesn't matter. Don't hate nobody. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It means that you have no peace, huh? There's no peace between you. There's no peace between you and Hashem. That's the Mishnah. He says, you say Lashonara about somebody, you hate somebody, it means your relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu is a downfall. There's no peace. This is the main thing is to have peace. Because that means you have peace with Hashem. We are say Shalom Aleinu, that's the Kamana. Before you finish Moneser, you said before, what did you, what did you say? I said, you know what's on Hashem, accept my tefillah. I said, why? I said, say Shalom and Romah, I want to have peace with you. I say Shalom Aleinu, but I call Israel, with everybody. That Pilchas showed us what it means. That's why he became the Kohen Agadol, and that's why he's going to be the one Navi. And he never die. Goes up and down. So he goes to every Brit Milah. Says the Torah, I tell you what. You know, Abraham Abinu made the Brit Milah. Torah says that the people came to visit him. Abraham was sitting down. We were shaped like a howl. Sit down. Abraham felt Hashem is here. He wanted to get up. Hashem said, No, 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 don't get up. I want to tell you something. One day, Am Israel will have judges. And they will sit down and I'll be there. And look him, it's up by that kill. Hashem stands in the bedin. So, therefore, Abraham Abinu, he just said with Milah, do not stand up. Why? Because I want everybody to know that I came to visit you and you sit down. There's going to be a message from Israel. The judges should sit down and I will stand next to them. Like I'm standing next to you, Abraham Abinu. Question is, what judges has to do with it, Milah? Says the Mishnah, Berkei Avot, Ashloshad, Varim, Ma'olam, Amed. 
על הדין ועל האמת ועל השלום. Somebody can say what this world stands on, זה משנה בקרבות. אמת, be honest. חותמו של השם אמת. Don't lie, don't cheat the government, don't cheat insurance people, don't cheat. ועל הדין, be straightforward. Then it's going to be shalom. It's going to be peace between you and the Kaddosh Baruch. Brit Mila restores peace between us and Hashem. Thirteen times it says in the Torah, Brit, 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 Brit. When somebody has Brit Mila and watches his purity, his Brit Mila, his mind, his eyes, this is a treaty between you and the Kaddosh Baruch. This was Yosef. Yosef a tzaddik. What means a tzaddik? Yosef said, listen, you want to have peace with Hashem? Watch your eyes. Shar ayin shar ha-shamayim zil chacham ebn azim. You don't watch your eyes. You have no peace with Hashem. Ve-lo ta-tu wach ha-re levavchem ha-re nechem. Watch your eyes. Don't look at that supposed to look. Don't watch what you're not supposed to watch. Because when you do it, you cut the peace with Hashem. No. Hashem told Abraham, listen, I want to tell you something. Be a Brit Milah, huh? Because a Brit Milah is going to be Shalom. Shalom. How are you going to have Shalom? You have court system. They make peace between people. That's the purpose of the world, to have peace. But not between nations, not United Nations. That means nothing. That's called assimilation. Between us and Akadosh Baruch. Hashem should not be angry at the world. Hashem should not be in tsunami. Today Rav Steinman said everybody should be careful not to go on a boat, not to go on a ship, not to go swim in the ocean. Because the Gemara says the ocean wants to swallow the earth every day from the sins of the people. Tsunami is coming. From the scenes from the Supreme Court and other things that people do. So today Rav Shemman said, everybody, don't go on the boat. You can go to swimming pool. Do not go on the boat and do not go to the ocean. Don't go next to it, don't go to, don't go to a lake. Because the water, they are the judge. They don't like and they don't want to take any insult on the Fakadosh. Brit Mila, your purity, your holiness. The world stands on it. It's called Shalom. It's called Yosef Atzadi. Musaf says the Zohar is called Yosef Atzadi. Therefore, this is for Asha, we have the Korbanot Musaf. This is because Musaf restores Shalom. The purpose of the sacrifice of Hamikdash is to restore Shalom. Musaf. Says that is abbreviation, Storm Piot, Mastinim Katrigeno. Hashem, close up the mouth of our prosecutors upstairs. Bizhut Yosef Hatzadik, watch his eyes. But not Sa'adah Leshu, didn't look at any girls in Egypt. Didn't look at any girls, says the Gemara, at the palace of Potiphar. So restore Shalom between us and Akadosh Bahu. That's what the Gemara says, when Am Israel came to Yom Suf, he actually did not want to split. Right on Oshel Yosef. The sea saw the coffin of Yosef split. This is why. Because of Shalom. Yosef is Shalom. Yosef is social. Yosef never fought with his, with his brothers when he came back to Egypt. He did not punish them. Because he wanted to have peace with everybody. If you don't have peace with everybody, you don't have peace with Akadosh. It's called Parashat Pinchas. Now what happened to Pinchas? It's a message for us. Before Silichot comes, you have to know the purpose of Silichot. It's not just, I can say myself, Mechila. No. I know because I've seen the peace with Hashem was destroyed. I want to restore it. I confess and I promise that I don't want to destroy the peace. This is Pinchas. This is another bit. That's what the Gemara said. Eliyahu will come before Mashiach will come, his job is to make peace. Not between the nation. You can ask in the Kadosh Baruch Hu, Bebrah, Bebrah, Bebrah.